Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about unit 3. The unit topic is numerical differentiation and integration. Under this first we are going to discuss about numerical differentiation. Look at this. Suppose a function y equal to f of x is given by a table values of xi comma ya. The process of computing the derivative dy by dx for some particular value of x is called numerical differentiation. So for a given tabulated values of x and y, we are going to find the value of dy by dx. By the same manner, we can find the second derivative also. This process is called numerical differentiation. The same process can be uh, repeated for evaluating the integration of the tabulated value. Look at this. And the process of evaluating the definite integral, integral a to b, f of x dx is called numerical integration. So for the given set of values, we can find the derivative that is called numerical differentiation. Derivative in the sense, first, second, likewise dy by dx, d square y by dx square, likewise we can find the derivative that is called numerical differentiation and we can find the integrated that is the integration value of the given function integral a to b f of x dx the process of finding the integration value that is evaluating the definite integral that is called it as numerical integration now look at the first one first we are going to discuss about the numerical differentiation derivatives from different stable using newton's forward difference formula under our unit 2, we have discussed Newton's forward difference, backward difference formula. So, forward difference means we can find the value in the um, y equal to beginning value of x. In that case, we can use the forward difference. We can apply the backward difference result when we are finding the y value at the end of the table values. In that case, we use the backward difference formula. Here also, we are using the same kind of uh, result that is derivatives from difference table using Newton's forward difference formula. First result 1 dy by dx. dy by dx at the point x is equal to x0 plus ph. The result is 1 by h into del y0 plus 2p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y0 plus 3p square minus 6p plus 2 by 3 factorial del cube y0 plus etc. Here all the values of uh, del y0, del square y0, del cube y0, del power 4 y0, these values can be taken from the difference table. Here we are using the forward, that is the reason why the del is represented like this. If suppose it is backward means we will write the uh, reverse case of the del by symbolic notation. Okay. So here we are using the forward difference formula to find dy by dx at the point x is equal to x0 plus ph. If suppose at x is equal to x0, p equal to 0 because for finding the value of p, p equal to x minus x0. Okay. So x minus x0 by h, here you can see this x minus x0 by h equal to p. So using this result, if suppose you are getting in some problem p value is 0, in that case we have to use the dy by dx result is this one that is the result dy by dx equal to at the point of x is equal to x0 1 by h del y0 minus 1 by 2 del square y0 plus 1 by 3 del cube y0 plus etc. So these are the two results for finding dy by dx dy by dx at the point x is equal to x0 plus ph if suppose our p value is 0 we can go for the second result of dy by dx so these two result based on newton's forward difference formula similarly the second derivative that is d square y by dx square at the point of x is equal to x0 plus ph which is equal to 1 by h square del square y0 plus p minus 1 del cube y0 plus 6p square minus 18p plus 11 by 12 into del power y0, del power 4 y0 plus etc. At x is equal to x0, p equal 0, then the second derivative d square y by dx square equal to 1 by h square del square y0 minus del cube y0 plus 11 by 12 del power 4 y0 plus etc. So these two results can be used for finding the second derivative that is 
to find d square y by dx square at the point of x is equal to x0 plus ph we can use this result. If suppose our p value is 0 to find the d square y by dx square we can use the second result. So, these are the two results for finding the second derivative of uh, given table values. All these values for Newton's forward difference. If suppose we are applying the backward result, okay, that is backward difference formula. In that case, our dy by dx, that is our result 2. Result 1 is based on the forward difference and result 2 is based on the backward difference. So, using the backward difference table, the result of dy by dx at the point of x is equal to xn plus ph. You can notice this xn. The result is 1 by h del yn plus 2p plus 1 by 2 factorial del square yn plus etc. Here the reverse case that is the reciprocal of del. Here also we are reading this as del only but this symbol notation for backward difference. Okay. If suppose at the point of x is equal to xn p equal to 0 we can use the result dy by dx at x is equal to xn the result is 1 by h del yn plus 1 by 2 del square yn plus 1 by 3 del cube yn plus etc. So, the first uh, two result for dy by dx using backward result. By the same manner for the second derivative that is d square y by dx square. Similarly, d square y by dx square at x is equal to xn plus ph the result is 1 by h square del square yn plus p plus 1 del cube yn plus 6p square plus 18p plus 11 by 12 del power 4 yn plus etc. If suppose p equal to 0 then our d square y by dx square at x is equal to xn the result is 1 by h square equal to del square yn plus del cube yn plus 11 by 12 del power 4 yn. So, these are the two results we are going to use for finding the derivatives that is using forward and backward. So, the first one is Newton's forward difference formula. Based on the Newton's forward difference, we have two results for finding dy by dx. The first one is at the point of x equal to x0 plus ph. The second one is at the point p equal to 0, then the result of dy by dx. This is the second result. By the same manner, using the forward, we have the second derivative result that is d square y by dx square. And at the point of x equal to x0 plus ph, we have a result. At the same time, when p equals 0, we can use the d square y by dx square result as the second one. Likewise, result 2. Result 2 for backward difference. For result 1 for Newton's forward difference and result 2 for Newton's backward difference. Using that, we can find the dy by dx. At the point of x is equal to xn plus ph, we have this result. If suppose our p equal to 0, we can use the dy by dx as this result. Similarly, for the second derivative, we have a result. So, we have to remember all the results for doing the problem, uh, finding the numerical differentiation. Same manner, we can go for the integration. So, before going to the integration, first we will complete the problems under numerical differentiation. So, before we are going to do the problem, just have a glance on these results so that we can do the problem easily. Okay? Thank you for watching.